Here I've elevated the front leg to get a little bit more hip abduction out of my back hip. I'm also working on extension through the hips as well as the thoracic spine here. With my injured foot elevated, it helps me to unload and load into the back foot a little bit more, helping to encourage a little bit more extension out of that hip without putting too much weight into my injured front foot, which can't handle a ton of motion right now. This is a hip extension driver using the injured leg behind the front leg. I've got my front foot elevated to get a little bit more hip abduction to the back hip, as well as a little bit of a staggered stance, less than the previous video where my foot was further forward because I cannot tolerate that much dorsiflexion at this time. I go into a deeper flexion to begin the motion because I can't get into full extension at the hip and just moving from flexion to even a partial extension gives that tissue the exposure. And that's Annabelle. <laughs> Here I'm going into frontal plane 3D maps and I'm biasing the uninjured hip to get a little bit more hip adduction as I move my hands opposite, as well as getting a little bit more lateral flexion out of the injured hip. I cannot tell you how good this motion feels, getting a little bit more hip adduction as I drive away from the injured side and really moving and encouraging that um, eversion of the ankle because I can't get a lot of inversion right now as my hands drive away from the injured foot. It just feels so good to the hips as they are really getting locked down being in this boot and with this asymmetrical gait pattern. So thank goodness for 3D maps. This one took me a little bit of time to figure out how to do is I can't really drive my arms towards the injured leg uh, safely right now because it really drives that ankle into inversion. So right now I am moving and allowing the pelvis to go and bring the femur and then also the tibia and the ankle itself along into a little bit of inversion. It feels really good to the hip as well as even down into my leg as well as into my thoracic spine, which is really taking a hit with carrying my body around on crutches and rolling around in my chair.